Hey guys, welcome to a, another day of Jeeping in Forlo. Now, sad news, we are uh, we're gonna be changing the name of the channel, uh, and not necessarily because we're getting rid of any of the Jeep. It's literally because we've done so many different things uh, that's not necessarily just Jeep related. So of course we got the Scout, we have our Jeeps, have the Duramax. I mean, there's a ton of different stuff we do here. So uh, we're actually gonna be changing it to All Dirt Adventure. So uh, we'll be fixing the banner, everything there. But uh, on today's episode, as far as what we've done. Uh, if you take a look at Lieutenant Dan here, you can tell he definitely looks different uh, than what he did last time we were on the channel. Uh, and the big thing is, he's got 35s. Finally has real yes! bad shoes. <laughs> no more baby tires. Yes, so I think the last video you saw that we actually did together, uh, we are actually putting the tops back on the Jeep. Uh, it is now summertime, so it's been four months five months i've least. been asked when the doors are coming off yep. but in 30 days yep so in 30 days we're actually gonna be heading out to colorado so we're actually gonna be going to uh the san juan mountains we'll be out by ure uh, tell you ride we'll be doing a ton of different things so we'll have a lot of content of the trip up there of course what we do when we're out there and uh, all just the, the cool adventures we'll probably do vlogs of probably all, all the towns the yeah we're gonna do black bear this year it's a lot of a lot of fun stuff that's actually coming up uh, but what we want to show you today, of course, is Lieutenant Dan, as far as the update goes, uh, new tires on them. Uh, we fixed a lot of small little concerns on the, on the Jeeps. Like you know, the uh, rear tire mounts, that was, or uh, body mounts on yeah, the back. Yeah, so on the, the back of Lieutenant Dan, the body mounts were rusted through. If you know anything about TJs, you'll, you'll see that, uh, you want to show our new addition? Yes, we have a new addition. <laughs> hi, baby girl. Can you say hi? <laughs> she wanted her time. Yeah. So, uh, if you've had a TJ, then you know the rear body mounts are terrible when they go bad. The way the uh, Jeep actually designs them, there's no way to access it. You have to cut a hole out, you have to get in there, replace the things. Uh, and then try to weld it back. Try to weld it back. Now, the only downside with Lieutenant Dan is he is very rusty. So, hey, uh, I was attempting to weld on. Well, bad metal. So, and I, was, I kept blowing through. But there's nothing that JB Weld could not finish and fix for it. So, so we JB welded him back up. It doesn't rattle anymore. Well, still has a few squeaks, but for a 2001, yeah, not it, not it, too it's bad. Not too bad. Now, uh, if you want to see where we're talking about as far as the rust concern goes, we end up removing the inner fender well. Because it was holding water up against the metal. Yeah, it looks like it was definitely just retaining it. And uh, this was probably our best side as far as attempting oh, yeah, to get it. we didn't drill a hole in the... Yeah, welded right in there. But, uh, yeah. Yep, got a lot of fun stuff. I don't know if you can see it there. But ended up getting those replaced. But uh, biggest thing about Lieutenant Dan now is that he has the proper tire size on this. So, uh we had to put an adapter onto the spare tire carriage because he was hitting the bumper. Yeah, so one of the things that people don't really realize or really think about whenever they do tires and wheels on Jeeps is that uh, a lot of the times um, you actually have to either have an aftermarket bumper or an adapter to actually be able to put the, the fifth tire on the back of the Jeep. Um, and in this case, Alan was the same way. Even though he does have an aftermarket bumper, it's not a one that actually has a tire carrier or a mount for that, so. Um, That's coming later down the road. Yes, yes. So we ended up ordering a uh, mount from Rough Country. Yep. It's actually designed for the 514 and a half, the 515 and the 515.5 through all the different, uh, basically, uh, uh, bolt patterns of all the Jeeps. And very simple process. I mean, we literally, it mounts to, here, I'll take this. So it actually mounts to the original tire carrier, which you see there, which is also rusty. <laughs> hey, I'll and, uh, rebuild it. And, and yes, yeah, we'll, we'll rebuild it with a <laughs> rattle cam. So, but you can kind of see the mount there. It's uh, the shiny black part. Uh, and uh, yeah, it literally just mounts it up. And what it does, if you look here at the tire, it actually pushes the tire out and up so it gets it off of the bumper so you actually have the clearance that you need to, to be able to close the door now this is a temporary solution it is not something that i would recommend running anything bigger than a 35 for honestly any long period of time uh, it just depends on your wheeling if you're doing a lot of bouncing if you're one of those guys that likes to hammer up hills and bounce everywhere <laughs> this is going to get a lot of a lot of stress and movement 
and that stress eventually is just going to crack your door. Uh, Alan is not that. He's very slow. <laughs> Picks every line that's not hard, so <laughs> we don't have to if worry If there's about a that. rock I can go around, go I around. go around it. I'm yes. not one of those that have to go up and down of some random rock setting out in the middle of the road. That's me. That's me all day. <laughs> so, but... Overall, we're uh, we're excited about going to Colorado, get out of this heat in the you know the Midwest. Wait, the South? What are we now? We're southeast. Plain, South Plains. Or States. Southwest. What she said. So, but uh, outside of that, guys, thank you for for tuning in. This is a very and short again, video. And again, our new name. Yes, is gonna be... it's going to be All Dirt Adventure. We'll have everything attached on the screen. There's a link to our. Uh, actually, it's going to be my Instagram account. Uh, that's going to have everything there. So, of course, if you guys like to follow us. We definitely appreciate it. Anything, feedback, it helps us tremendously try to figure out what we need to do better. And honestly, we're just two fat guys trying to figure this out. Hold and on. having fun doing it. Yeah. <laughs> With? With Taters. With Taters. <laughs> See you guys.